safari in Africa is a truly remarkable experience. You're usually just one of a few people staying at the lodge as well, so it's really personable. Um, and, and you build really good relationships and quite unique relationships as well, particularly with your rangers who you spend a lot of time with. If you're considering safari for the first time, it's probably all about the big five. So I'd suggest the national parks of Kruger in South Africa, the Masai Mara in Kenya, or even the Serengeti in Tanzania. One of the things that I experienced on safari that will always stay with me was when we started tracking a leopard. We were just driving through early morning and suddenly the rangers, they, they picked up the scent. From that they started to find footprints in, in the tracks. We ended up tracking down this leopard from being out in the complete bush to her just stepping right out in front of the vehicle. And we just followed her and watched her pretty much pose in on top of the mounds and in the trees and it was a really special moment. If you're thinking of returning to Africa, which I'd really recommend, then I'd suggest considering something really unique like uh, trekking with mountain gorillas in Uganda or Rwanda or even taking a hot air balloon safari followed by a champagne breakfast in the bush. If you're a family looking to go on safari, then I'd suggest South Africa. The lodges are usually very well catered to, to kids with good kids facilities and, and they usually have a junior ranger program. It's essentially learning through leisure where rangers spend the time with the children and teach them survival techniques, teach them about the natural habitat and also things like uh, anti-poaching initiatives. Hayes and Jarvis are Africa specialists and they have been for, for over 65 years. We spend a lot of time working with our, our hand selected partners and local guys to make sure that the experiences that you have are authentic and bespoke to you. <laughs>